I, I'm, I'm interested in, you, you talked about just the safety aspect of having to buy more Lysol, more cleaning supplies and all of that, that stuff. Were you able to get funds back from that, from PPP? Were you, or how, how did you kind of budget that kind of stuff in there, knowing that you were, I guess, forced into buying that type of stuff? Like, like how does someone handle that? Because it seems like that was not only hard to find at one point, uh, and then overpriced at that same point, but but enforced. And, you know, I think the world was really scared at one point. Maybe they're a little not as scared about that aspect, but just the the cleaning aspect of the business. How did you handle all of that? So this is uh, you're right. Uh, we were we were forced. Uh, we if, if you were going going to be open, you had to um, you had to be clean and and you not just for your clients, but also for your for your own team. Um, so, and this is where uh, some of the, uh, the military background comes into play. Uh, I was a, by trade, a logistics officer in the, uh, in the Navy and the job of the logistician in the Navy is to just like any place else is, is, is to play the what if game. And you're always planning for someone else lack of planning. You never want the operator to come to you and said, Hey, you know, I don't have this. Can you get this from me? And you not having thought about that. Uh, for that, for, you know, to address that in the first place, that would be a failure on your end because all the job logisticians pl uh, game plan is to 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 play the what if game. Um, so we um, we were we were ready. Uh, we had our contacts. Um, we had a um, uh, um, we were funded to uh, to be able to buy things in quantity uh, because not only were we going to need it, but they, they may not have been available when we. Uh, you know, when we needed it after running out from what we had. Uh, so there was a game, there was a plan in place uh, that Rick and I came up with to make sure that our stores uh, were fully stocked with what we uh, with what we needed. Um, one, of, one of the things that I've always passed down uh, to uh, individuals is to have a line of credit. And the last time, you know, you don't want to apply for a line of credit when you lean, when you need a line of credit. That's when the bank is going to go, well, I'm not sure we can, you know, pay this back or um, what do you need that for? Uh, you want the line of credit already established, um, not just for the bad times, but also for the good times. You know, people think it's a it's a bad thing to have a line of credit and use it. If you come across a a, a supplier that is able to give you some good deals, uh, a line of credit is going to get you the funding to take advantage of that good deal, which later on, you know, the cost of that supply may triple. And now it's going to be unaffordable, but you were able to do it at a much lesser price. So via our, our financial acumen, we were able to uh, be very comfortable. And yes, we were able to take advantage of uh, all the funding that the different uh, levels of the government provided us um, after, after, the, uh, after the fact. We were not able to take advantage of all of them because we were uh, open and uh, we were able to, to, to maintain our team intact, as I mentioned before. Um, but the majority of our expenses were taken care of with the, uh, the PPP uh, money that was uh, that was being afforded um, to uh, to all of us. So very lucky, yeah, very lucky on, on our end uh, with that with that with that way forward. Someone who's been directly wonder, involved uh, within the startup community for almost a decade. I want to talk to you about a serious pain point: spending a ton of time trying to understand the business landscape in the seven five seven. That's time that should be focused on growing the business. At Startwheel. We're here to help you by compiling all of the news you need to know about in one place. Now there's no need to search multiple websites. Just head to startwheel.org and see for yourself. That's startwheel.org.